Have you ever wondered what the difference is between an outrunner motor and an inrunner motor is? Today I'm going to describe the basic differences between these two motor topologies. So the two basic types or topologies of brushless motor is the outrunner or outer rotor and inrunner or inner rotor motor. And the easiest way to tell the difference is to literally look at them and touch the motors. So I will show you here on this outrunner motor, this outer rotor motor, the outside of the motor actually spins. We are looking at the rotor itself. It, it moves. That's it. That's, that's pretty much it. And on the inrunner motor, it is the inside of the motor that moves. So I can spin the shaft by my hand and you don't see anything moving on the outside. And inside the motor is this little rotor. So as I'm spinning it, the rotor is spinning around, but everything else is fixed. So as the obvious external differences, there's nothing spinning on the outside of this one, but on the outrunner, let me rotate this so we can look at it the same. You can see the outside of the motor actually does spin. And this causes a couple of things that you need to know about. So with the outrunner motor, you need to make sure that when it's mounted, that you don't have anything rubbing it like the wires or other wires, or you don't have it against, let's say a transmission too tightly where it can rub on the outside. You can actually see, or maybe you can't see, but I can see that this one has had some rubbing and that can cause issues. It causes just nothing but inefficiency. It's, it's not moving your wheels. It is only dragging on the outside of the motor case. You don't have that problem with an inrunner. You can mount it against really anything and save for extra heat or something like that. There's not going to be any problems. So as far as the performance differences, maybe this is what you want to know. What are the performance differences between an outrunner and an inrunner? So when we get down to at least the basics, we're going we're to try to keep this one really basic. I'm, I'm going to try. The outrunner will typically have a higher torque density for whatever the weight may be. And an end runner will typically have a higher power density for the weight. And these aren't hard rules. I could definitely design an outrunner that had better power density, or I could design an end runner that had better torque density. But in general, when we're just talking about the basic construction of it, you can bet that an outrunner is going to have higher torque density, whereas the end runner is going to have lower torque density, but has the potential to produce more power. Now, why is that? We're, we're going to, again, I'm going to try to keep this really basic. The reason why the end runner typically has higher power density is because it can rev a whole lot higher. This motor, even though we call it a 60,000 RPM rated motor, it can actually spin 100,000 RPM and it won't fly apart. This particular rotor, it has Kevlar wrap and the magnets won't fly apart. Also with the end runner, it will typically have a better efficiency under no load. And what that means is less heat. So if you push a motor into overheating, obviously it's not going to work as a motor anymore. So that is one reason why, or two reasons why the end runner has higher power density. It can spin faster and it typically will have higher efficiency. We're going to talk about that why in a second video. On the outrunner, it has better torque density. And you may ask, well, why does it have better torque density? And the simple answer is because the rotor itself is a much larger diameter, but this does cost the efficiency, the no load efficiency in particular. And I'm going to be talking about a crawler when I say this because of the slightly lower efficiency of the outrunner, you may find in some situations that you actually have less runtime. If you switch from an equal speed in runner to an equal speed outrunner, you're going to get a little bit more heat on the motor. You may get more heat on your ESC and your runtime may go down potentially significantly, significantly enough for you to notice. However, in a crawler, our run times typically aren't an issue. And if you're coming from a brushed motor, you're, you're going to be getting more runtime anyway. So it really boils down to, do you want more torque or do you want more power? Or are you wanting to go ultra lightweight so you can take advantage of the torque density? Or do you want something to where you can get into the elements on this sealed style in runner? So there's really not 
a hard and fast, I'm going to use this or I'm going to use that. They're both perfectly suited for rock crawling. They're both per perfectly suited for almost anything else where you can at least use a gearbox. So let's say you have a UAV and you're gonna be flying. You don't want a gearbox on the prop. It's more to fail. It's more height on there. And for a UAV, you want your motor as low as you can possibly get just so your props aren't way above the rest of the frame. So in some applications, the Outrunner ends up being the clear use case but for anything else anytime when you have gear reduction available and it's not going to cause you problems it's not going to be you know too much extra weight or more parts to fail etc etc then either one can be absolutely fine i switch between using these and those pretty much equally on all of my rigs so i, I just can't say that there's going to be one better than the other but to recap on Outrunners, the outside of the motor rotates. The rotor itself is on the outside and you can see it rotate. It is not sealed because of this. And on an end runner, it is the inside of the motor where the rotation would occur. The rotor spins on the inside. It is away from the elements. It is more or less sealed. And that's pretty much it. So if you do have any questions on this, Post them down below. I'll do my best to get to them or I will end up making another video about them. As always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.